Uh, yeah, I mean, we didn't miss. You know, we we were good all over the ice. I think, you know, defending as five guys and attacking as five guys, and and you know that's that's the result. But you know, we we had some great looks there, and, and we didn't miss. And you know, next thing you know, it's eight two. From, from the first game to now, you talked about you not missing. You got it going all over the ice. What's the communication been like since that first game? Like amongst defensemen, and you, amongst the forwards, and everybody in the ice. Uh, it's been good. I mean, you hear guys talking a lot, actually, you know, letting them know, you know, chip it in or move the puck or whatnot. But I don't think we've, you know, we've been caught in our own end too much. You know, we kind of defended the rush as well. And, and you know, then collapsed back to the house and broken those plays up. We didn't, we hadn't spent too much time uh, in our in our own end, which is great. And that helps. And, and, you know, I think our breakouts for the most part have been good too. Goalie deep exchanges have been good. So, uh, yeah, the communication is pretty good. You had a uh, full ice view of Pasta's goal there when he went end to end. What was that like just watching it? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Just wow. Kind of like that that goal last game. You know, he's he's kind of sneaky. You know, like he just gets the puck and winds up. And you know, you think you don't think too much of it. You know, but then once he picks up speed after red line, and then you know that that D gets caught standing still just a little bit, and you know he's in trouble. And next thing you know, it's it's not even you know. I mean, he's not in a danger area really from goal goaltender standpoint. But you know, then quick you know backhand forehand and puts it top shelf. So it's a tough tough shot to stop. So uh, it was it was a fun watch for sure.